Hello, and welcome to another Senran Kagura Thoughts and Opinions video. This time we're discussing the second game in the series that came out in the in the order of release. In today's, in today's video we're discussing Senran Kagura Shinobi vs. The first one for the Vita too. And the first one to engage Timeline too. My thoughts as a whole on this game. As before, we'll go over as discussed in the last video. Gameplay, story, story having heavy impact, gameplay supporting it, as well as the afterplay and replayability on it. First up, we will talk about the story and the and the new and the new things this brought to the series. Samurai Kagura Shinobi versus the story was. At on a subpar at best. It didn't carry the same weight and impact as the original did. And that for me, kind of... blue. Because to be honest, I had fallen in love with the series originally when Burst came out. And loved, and loved what it was. But when these games came out, it was kind of fell short and became a, like a serious disappointment. And the new girls they added on, even though they added 10 brand new girls to give us a total grand total roster of 22 characters, it's just... It just... Some of these characters just didn't sit right with me at first, to be honest. I'm sorry for anyone who's actually fans of these characters. I mean, I can understand where you're coming from now. Just back then, I didn't really see them as noteworthy or anything. Like um, uh, Murakuma originally, she just didn't stick out as she had, sh as she as well as she should. As well as Yosakura, Yosakura just seemed like the typical tight ass of the entire of the entire guessing group. And it, I really didn't like her as a whole. As well as some of the jokes they used in the previous one for Burst just sort of were reused. A lot of them were, re were reused and just... And you had some predictable predictable tropes like the tight ass Yozakura fighting against Katsuragi who's the typical pervert and it's just... Uh, it's too predictable and I didn't like it. Ryobi and Riona were another major problem for me. As originally, yeah, I know their story arc was supposed to be something because, you know, they're trying to kill Miyabi for what happened to their sister Ryoki, but I really didn't sympathize or feel for them. <laughs> Mostly because of how they're how they acted as people. And they just they didn't sit right. With Riona being, you know, the typical masochistic pervert and Ryobi just being the sadistic the sadistic um, uh, what's the word for that for people who beat on other women <sighs> oh whatever that it just didn't sit right with me so it's just really just it just didn't sit right I just didn't like some of these characters to be honest Gameplay was eesh, a little bit worse this time around than the last one. As some aspects of the game, combat slowed down big time, especially the ninja arts. Ninja arts were kind of cool and you know show showcases, showcasing and movie scenes and all stuff. And when Senran Shinobi Versus tried this, it just seemed long as hell. Especially some of the other new ones, especially some of the new ones, it's just like, ugh, it just didn't sit right. It just didn't sit right, and it just slowed down my, comp my experience all, all over. And by adding another bar for the, for the flash mode, that really didn't sit right with me either. As it made the game longer than it actually should have been. Overall, my experiences on this game were not positive, especially the after game and replayability. 
it just didn't seem right. Also because at the in the end I never went back and maxed the meters, which is something I did in the previous game. And what I mean by max the meters, I mean here. In here there are meters select selected to Yang on the top and Yin on the bottom. Yang is your shinobi transformation, Yin is your pretty much when you pretty much strip the character down to her underwear, basically. And that is just And then they added Flash, which is the pre transformation. This just didn't sit right with me, and I never really went back to max the meters because it was an absolutely horrible experience. Especially some of the combos, they were just atrocious. Some of the problems being Yozakura, Mirai, Haruka especially. Yeah, I really didn't enjoy it. Overall, I just didn't... I didn't have a good time. And especially when I played this game back in the day. Back in the early peak of 2019, after I got my Vita for the first time. And this is what encouraged me to get a Vita originally, because I had previously, in the previous year, bought a copy of Persona 4 Golden. And for the entire year, did not even buy a Vita to go with it. That's how things were. It just didn't sit right. It just didn't sit right that I just didn't have a Vita, didn't have a Vita until actually this game encouraged me to buy it. So instead of having one game being Shinobi Versus, I had two games, Persona 4 Golden. And at the time, I was more intrigued to play Persona 4 Golden than I was to play Shinobi Versus. And that gives a problem when I'm actually when I'm actually picking one game over the other. Especially since in the tail end of, um, uh, like I said, it was the tail end of 2014. Oh, hey, yeah, I have the sound on my TV. I should have muted that out, but whatever, you can't, you can barely hear it anyway. Anyway, like I said, it was like the br brief instances of 2015, and my family had brought home, it, ever since the tail end of 2014, brought home the freaking stomach flu. And that worried me constantly to no end. And there was, and the only game that made me forget about its existence was Persona 4 Golden rather than Shinobi Versus because I kept remembering that it actually existed. And that was pretty much something that sh should ha shouldn't happen. The, the fact that I remember even while playing Shinobi Versus and I can just remember how much I really just wanted to forget. So yeah, that's di that didn't contribute to a good part of my life too, which is the reason why some of verses did not sit right with me in the end. On term, the whole game just fell flat in the end, and there's nothing, and there's and, and I guess the opinion's just gonna stick because it just reminds me of a bad time in my life. Well, I guess it's enough rambling for one video. <laughs> I'm almost near my limit of three shinobi anyway. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of thoughts and opinions. I sent out Kagura. I'll be doing another, another two tomorrow, and sorry for the noise in the background, but I cannot help the world behind me. Overall, Samurai Kaka and Shinobi vs. gets a solid 6 out of 10. It could use some serious work. But as the game is already out, there's really no point to that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more, but I would never force you guys to actually subscribe, so eh, do what you feel you need to do. And next time we're discussing Senran Kagura Bone Appetite. So until that time, have a good one.